What's up guys, in this video we're going to be playing this really toxic looking 2.8 eagle cycle deck. Probably going to end up getting a lot of 3 crowns, so this should be fun to try out. And yeah, let's just hop straight into some games. Alright, so our first opponent here is going to start off with wall breakers. So we're just going to do what any classic eagle player would do. And just ignore everything and try to build up a huge push. Go for the 3 crown. But okay, Valkyrie, that's not really what we like to see. Just because it kind of gets a lot of value on defense from him. But... Hopefully, like, the help of our healer, it doesn't, like, totally destroy our push. Alright, I'm gonna rage. I don't assume we're gonna be able to get too much damage here, because he has, like, a lot of counters. Maybe our heal spirit can come in clutch here. It doesn't have, um, King of the Night Witch, but he does have Tornado. And, go to the last again minor. Surprisingly, defends our push, but we're still gonna be up a tiny bit of damage after this. So, not the worst case scenario, and I also think we're probably not down too much elixir. Even after him getting... A lot from those blobs so i guess we'll just do the same exact thing eagle in the back kind of rinse and repeat right now i'm gonna try to build some huge pushes maybe um this actually is gonna be like kind of hard and double just because he can cycle two valks but i think if we just keep spamming him eventually we'll be able to break through i know it's very skillful so let's just go baby dragon for bomb tower and then rage everything up gonna go just bit as well Hopefully get some value. Ooh, our Nightwitch ends up dying, so that's not good. And he's just gonna end up going log, so we're not gonna really be able to get too much damage out of this. And he might go wall breakers. Um okay, I could have like tried to like NATO skeletons or something, but to be honest, I think this is better because we're gonna be down some damage, but should have a nice elixir lead. So he's just gonna set up with an elixir golem in the back now. We are entering double leash now, so it'll be interesting to see if it'll end up benefiting us. So, he sickles Valk in the back. I think we have to like, try to NATO his magic archer in, so that it can die quickly, because it kind of gets a lot of value. So just go to the second E Golem, rage everything up, and... Okay, that's actually going to be a really good NATO, because we can hit the Spree Goblins as well. He hasn't gotten any elixir from the blobs yet, but now he will. Uh, we have a second eagle. I'm just gonna go with another one at the bridge here. Rage everything up. Hopefully a knight which spawns a lot of bats. Then we can nato those spear goblins in. That should be towered out, I'm pretty sure, because... Yeah, our baby dragon's locked on already. So now, um... I'm gonna go baby dragon on offense. Maybe make him force out some elixir, but... I'm gonna get ready for his wall breakers. Alright, he kinda did predict those. So we need to rage, make sure, like... I don't know why we're just getting X minor. It's not enough time to like get enough damage or anything. So yeah, I wouldn't even say that was like a good matchup for Alexa Golems because he has kind of a lot of counters. And we don't have a direct spell for his magic archer. But yeah, still able to get that win. He guys obviously not too happy about that. Alright, so I guess we'll just go Eagle on the back since he's not really doing anything. He's like his magic archer, so I think it's better to basically go opposite lane no matter what they do because then yeah, if he goes, like, all in here, I don't really see how he can defend our push. Like, there's no way Ram or Magic Archer can 3-crown us. So let's go Battle Healer in front. This is probably gonna end up being some sort of Pekka deck, so let's go... Baby Dragon at the bridge here, Rage. I don't really know how he can defend his tower. Wow, my god, just, he just played a Pekka on top of a... Battle Healer, Baby Dragon, Night Witch. So that's not really gonna do too much for him. And to be honest, we can probably just go for the 3-crown here, because... Um, let's take a look at another battle healer. And I don't think he has, like, any elixir in hand. After playing that Dark Prince, like, defend his tower or anything. So we'll just go with another Eagle with the bridge. Help, help keep up the pressure here. But yeah, I think he's gonna give up. Doesn't have enough elixir to deal with our massive elixir golem push. This is gonna be another easy 3 crown, and I'll see you in the next match. Alright, so we a game here against Jordy from the clan Indestructibles. And okay, this guy probably thinks he's like a god if his clan is literally named Indestructibles. But hopefully we can crush his dreams today with this E-Golem first play 3-crown deck. I mean, technically we didn't use it first play, but I think we'll go Knight in the back here. So as always, we're just going to like spam opposite lane no matter what they do. And it's actually going to be another Rare Matter deck in a row. Uh, two games in a row. And like the last time, we're just going to totally ignore that because... Even though we're going to lose our tower, it's not going to 3-crown us or anything, which is the only goal. And he has the lightning, so we actually lightning block kind of the baby dragon unintentionally. So our Nightwitch lives. 
And that's gonna get some insane DPS when they call the bat to spawn. So we're just gonna keep up pressure with another e golem uh, going for his king tower here. And yeah, that was a zero elixir inferno dragon if I've ever seen one. So there's no way he defends his push. This tech is actually kind of fun to play. We literally just keep getting free three crowns. So yeah, I'll just keep going. Um, okay, use Hawker's play. I think we'll actually just activate our king here because I mean, I could have ignored it and went eagle in the back just with a huge push, but. Since we had Tornado and Cycle up here, why not? It'll help us out later in the match. Make it harder for him to 3 crown us. Wow, so it's gonna be Royal Giant as well. So if he spends something on offense, yeah, it goes Log. So we're probably gonna lose our right hand tower here, but since he needs to commit like 8 Elixir over there, I feel like there's no way he's gonna be able to defend our Elixir Golem push. So yeah, Archie just takes tower. Those cannons, we'll just go Baby Dragon Rage. Heal Spear at zero. Hopefully, he can jump on his Valk. Uh, okay, he actually freezes everything, but I'm not really gonna do anything. Just kind of delay the inevitable. Because, yeah, just like that, his tower is gonna go down. Goes to the arrows, but those were definitely a zero elixir, so we already have another E Golem. Then try to log. But unfortunately for our pony here, it's the end of the road for him. Got another three crown with the E Golem cycle. And am I like a bad person for doing this? Probably, but it's pretty fun, so we're gonna just keep um, trying to get some three crowns, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna start off with an e golem in the back here, as usual. He cycles an ice spirit, so probably gonna be some sort of fast cycle deck. So we'll have to see. Ooh, okay, that was a questionable rocket on our opponent's end. I guess I'll battle through in front, because I don't want to get the elixir from the blobs like too fast. I think this is better, we can rage everything up here. And after the rocket, like, you won't have enough to play, like, a Valk or anything, I don't think, because it's probably an Ice Bow. So, yeah, this is Tower Down for sure. And to be honest, it's probably already a good game, because we could pretty much defend if we wanted to, but he's supposed to commit Elixir on defense. So he's going to end up going with Valkyrie now. But the bat should mostly finish it off. He goes Ice Wizard as well. So to be honest, like, we could just go in right away, because he doesn't have... I wasn't predicting his expo or anything, but he ended up playing it, which I guess is convenient, but we can't have Valk or Ice Wizard in cycle, so that's why I thought, like, it's a good time to go in. So we can just go Heal Spirit. I don't know if he has, like, Log in hand or if he has enough to play it, but yeah, it's going to be really valuable Heal Spirit. And this might already be towered down on the other side as well, so we're just going to go with another Eagle in the pocket. Our opponent can pretty much do nothing but cry at the decimation of his... Both his princess towers and pretty soon his king tower, he's kind of keep spamming him. He can go with the knight, which is zero. Actually, his, maybe is bad, but I don't think we're gonna be able to take tower here just because he has like Valkyrie up and Ice Wizard. Unless the bats can. Wow. Okay. Guess I spoke too soon. We do manage to get the three crown. Again, I don't even think this matchup's that good for us because he does have like Valkyrie, Ice Wiz. Alright, he's gonna go Spear Goblin, so most likely. Minor wall breakers or mortar or something. So he's gonna mine it opposite lane. I think we could just ignore that. Uh, it's not gonna like, take my whole tower or anything. So at least gonna go knight as well. It's actually better that he has knight as opposed to like Valk, which like a lot of these minor like minor cycle decks do. He's gonna have a bomb tower as well, which is not gonna be too good for us. But we have like so much on the board right now, and I don't know if he's gonna have anything for the bats, so we might be able to get a lot of his tower here okay yeah it's definitely definitely gonna be tower down i'm just gonna go with an eagle on at the bridge here maybe he won't have that much elixir and yeah i think the bats are just like way too much for the opponent to stop here wow okay we literally three crowned him in like 59 seconds this deck is like so toxic all right so we'll go for one more game uh, i'm actually not too sure how long this video is gonna be just because i keep three crowning my opponents so as usual we'll start off Elixir Golem in the back here and see what he's gonna do. So Cycles have a Valkyrie, so it's like kinda of annoying. Like it's not really a card you like to see when you're playing E Golem, but we managed to be like the two last people that were using it. And he's gonna go Lumberjack Balloon. We're gonna ignore that just because Lumberjack Balloon isn't like through crown you or anything. So he's gonna rage everything up. This is 100 percent gonna be tower down because he just spent like a non elixir on the other lane. And I don't want to Eagle him zero because, yeah, I was kind of anticipating a freeze. So just go ahead and NATO that into the other tower. And 
Yeah, so we're definitely not going to do crown here. He goes arrows at zero. Once again, literally less than a minute into the game, we managed to get the three crown. I think I'm going to be done playing this deck for a while. I mean, we put our opponents through enough suffering. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know down in the comments below what deck I should use in the future. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.